Welcome back to the program. You're watching Morning Thailand with Tulip and Golf.、Mm -hmm. Now let's move on to another news, Kun Tulip, and this is actually quite shocking. If those of you who have to take medicine, and you know, well, if you have to, obviously you you know sick of some sort. You depend exactly, and if you tear off the package, and it turns out that you know in the package there's two types of medicine that's not supposed to be. Hold in on. I when I when I read the headlines, I thought it's just one kind of medicine、it's、put up. in. They got mixed up because they say that they found some pills that not,、ah. you know, and this is obviously quite alarming because don't forget if you have to take a medicine, especially when the difference was five milligram, right? You know that means that the effect it will have on you will be quite large. Now I'm talking about this particular case that surfaced. Um, over the weekend, and the public health ministry has came out and talking about how the two medicines somehow got mixed up together. Now, don't forget the investigation will obviously on the way. Has been if, launched exactly、right. because you know if this actually made it on the news, obviously they can't just sit by and <laughs> not doing it anything. However, just to give you updates on this, they say that、um, these two type of pills,、um, these are for the.、Um, Uh, let me see here for your heart, if for your heart disease, and they say that、um, at this point the medicine were isosorbine dinitrate、um, that used to prevent chest pain caused from coronary artery disease, and that's mixed with amlodipine.、Um, amlo, uh, let me see, <laughs> amlodipine,、okay. um, which is a high blood pressure treatment. So. They said it is somewhat could be similar in terms of effect. However, one is five milligram and one is ten milligram, so that could be a bit of a different even, there. Even if the effect is similar, but it's different kind. It's different kind. Medicine, You're、anyway. not supposed to exactly. And this is、um, they say that they have been investigating this and seven hospitals altogether that receive this lot of the wrong medicine. I will give you a name so that at、But、least if you get it from these <laughs> medicine, you can actually report it back to them. Now, ironically enough, that、mm -hmm. the public health ministry and pharmaceutical department is actually campaigning on people to read the label、mm -hmm. before they take the medicine. But、right. if what they read and what's inside are different,、mm -hmm. I mean that's not going to help. Now, seven hospitals are Nakhon Chai Si Hospital, Nakhon Pathom Hospital,、mm -hmm. Yang Chum Noi Hospital,、mm -hmm. Si Saket Hospital, Phu Kiao Hospital, Chaya Phum Hospital, Nong Ya Sai Hospital. As well as Makarak Hospital, Kok Samrong Hospital, Ban Rai Hospital, and they say that at this point, Kok Samrong Hospital and Ban Rai Hospital, they haven't distributed these pills that they received yet. Okay. So at this point, they already pulled back all these pills. Okay. But for those of you who you know might would like to know that you know if your medicine, if you take these two. Please, please contact your、um, hospital. hospital and see whether or not they are one of the seven. But at this point, they say that the investigation is launched already, and obviously、um, there will be a big, big meeting of the、um, concerned parties to make sure that this kind of thing will not happen again. They will appoint the experts as well as representative from the.、Um, The government pharmaceutical organization labor union、mm -hmm. as a member of the fact finding committee. So, in order to find out to the bottom of this, what has happened? Well, apparently, no. Actually, obviously, mishap、mm -hmm. in the packaging. <laughs> yeah. So they they have to find out and make sure that those people will be obviously put into. You know the system. Make sure that they、Hopefully、get some kind the, of punishment. But there hasn't been any report of anyone got sick yet. Right. So that's. Hopefully、good. the hospital listed is the only hospital that got those. Yeah,、pills. they they say that those are the only one that got from this lot because they have the serial numbers as well. Okay. Right. That's good.、Mm -hmm. So move on to the next news. This is what. Golf mentioned earlier in Las Vegas, there's supposed to be a good news. It's not happening yet, but it's on the way to happen.、Mm -hmm. um, yesterday, the permanent secretary of the Commerce Ministry, uh, sorry, Finance Ministry, Mr. Ari Pong Pu Chum. Uh, said it was in the news that the government, because of the policy of government, that Thailand will be the shopping paradise of the tourists.、Mm -hmm. So、uh, 
um, right now the ministry is considering tax cuts on some import goods. Um, they said that uh, this should help boost the shopping spree by the uh, tourists, the foreign tourists. Now, some people might think, will it uh, will also encourage Thai shopper to just buy more? We're talking about the tax, the duties cut of the luxury goods. Mm -hmm. So they were talking that whether this will encourage Thai shopper to just spend more. He actually said that this should not affect the spending of Thai shopper because these people that love to buy luxury goods, most of the time they fly out of Thailand and shopping somewhere else anyway. Right, that's true, because so, it's cheaper. Yes, yeah, so he said this will be something that uh, help boost the sales of all these uh, shopping malls and luxury goods. Um, because he said in October to March, the luxury merchandise import has going up. 24% and the top three products categories were, this is so strange, fruits. Mm -hmm. The fruits is on the top three okay. of the luxury products. Perfumes, cosmetics, watches and accessories. So this category will be proposed to the cabinet um, in the next one or two months to see whether uh, the cabinet can approve some uh, mm -hmm. tax cut, the okay. import tax cut. And if they approve, chance is it will be effect mm. within this year, within the end of this year. So we might see suddenly some price drop in cosmetic and accessories and perfume. Mm. Interesting. All right. Because so far the cosmetic in Thailand is quite expensive when mm -hmm. you compare to Europe and America. Right. All right. Well, hopefully this would work in terms of bringing in more people because I do see lately that um, some tourists from Hong Kong mm. or China or you know neighboring countries actually traveling. Like if you go to um, Siam Paragon, mm. you will see a big tour and most people speaking English or Chinese or you know other foreign languages. So maybe this is a good news. They hope this will enable Thailand mm -hmm. as a shopping place to compete with Hong Kong and Singapore. That's good. But if it uh, goes straight to perfume and uh, cosmetics, it's... Um, we, we're not locally made it, produced yeah. it anyway, so I don't know. Well, we'll see. Right. Well, just able to boost the sales, I guess it's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, moving on to one of the most, I would say, intense situation right here in Thailand of late is the the para rubber farmers um, the the farmers that were protesting for higher prices now there has been a lot of talks obviously a lot of road blockades and such however at this point there has been a talk that on the 8th um, as they're having a meeting mm. they say that um, it's quite quite a long meeting three hours all together um, and they came up with five demands I, be, I, I heard that this meeting is like in the closed room yeah, it's and a not secret allow media room. to take pictures of the core leaders? Yeah, because the thing is they say that the core leaders, some of them actually have arrest warrant on them. Ah. So that's why to make sure that those people would not get arrested and the meeting adjourned, they would like to, you know, refrain the reporters from going in. Right. So hence, no one take pictures of these people. <laughs> However, um, obviously, after the long hours of meeting, they came up with five demands mm -hmm. altogether. The surprising part and the not surprising, but I would say that the most um, intense and scary part of this is that they say that if they don't get this on the 14th, that's another marking day that they will actually come out in full force to protest. Once again, not that it's not already, you know, so quite intense. They say that they're going to have a D-Day of gathering right. on the 14th. Now, they say that the five demands they were hoping for is first, they would like the government to pay for the differences. So pretty much compensate on the differences of the um, power rubber price um, per kilogram, either 95 baht per kilogram or 90 baht per kilogram so, so they say that down. yeah they, they came down a bit but they also say that 
um, they the government have to help with the fertilizer expenses as mm -hmm. well for 1260 baht per ride and this have to include those people that doesn't have a document uh -huh. or did not register because the government already the uh, I think resolve on that matter it will mm -hmm. be 1260 baht yeah, per ride but they but would like to extend this to other people who might not you know, be right. on the list as well. So I'm not sure how that gonna work. The second one is that they looking at the palm oil to be um, pay six baht per kilogram on palm oil mm -hmm. to compensate the differences. And for the third one is not to press any charges against anyone that including in the protest. So right. those people that have a race warrant that they we can't take a picture of, well, they should be off the hook. Pretty much right and the fourth one is that there should be a compensation for those people that got injured either physically or in terms of their assets mm -hmm. that might be lost during the time of when the police trying mm -hmm. to you know um, disperse the protesters and the fifth one was um, for the government to do whatever it takes to make sure that the price goes up to 120 baht per kilogram within Ooh. six months. Okay, six months. They still have window to work on it for yeah. six months. But that's the thing. It doesn't mean that <laughs> government will accept that, would it? Right. Yes, so that's the problem at this point. Um, it seems like um, a lot of people has come up and talk about this. And one of the things that the Pua Thai Party, especially Kun Prompong Noparit, the spokesperson that came out and talked about this is, Kun Prompong said that the person, one of the core leaders that um, negotiated about this, Kun Amnoy Yuti Tham, said that he wasn't even a farmer. He was just like a local politician. And that's what Kun Prompong was trying to say that, you know, perhaps these are all, you know, political driven and but such. If they look in uh, different ways, sometimes farmer need yeah. a, a person to just lead them to mm -hmm. just, you know, be re their representative to talk to the government, to the public of mm -hmm. what they mm -hmm. actually want. Exactly. Now, of course, Prime Minister said that um, at this point, she would like to look in terms of, like we said, to make the instead of using it as a raw material mm. to transfer it into you know other goods that might add value to it mm -hmm. for example perhaps looking at you know synthetic products or you know contact any manufacturers that mm -hmm. could use um, rubber or like the sap exactly to use in some other stuff to add the value to it and say that um, they will try to increase the use of natural rubber in the state projects like road surfacing, infrastructure, construction and such. Did they demand the Prime Minister present in negotiation? Or well, at this point, well? I don't think they could because obviously she's on the trip. Yes. And we're going to report about that. And she said that um, the Prime Minister already, you know. She just arrived in Geneva um, yesterday, right? Yeah. So she already passed her um, authorities and, you know, her um, task to Kun Prashapam Nok. Okay. Acting Prime Minister right. at this point. And he also chaired the negotiation team. Right. Between the government and the um, rubber farmer. Mm-hmm. No. Okay. Right. Next news is mm -hmm. also involve politics only because the person in the news is from Democrat Party. Okay. Apparently, Mr. Abhisit, which a lot of you might know already that Democrat be in, beside inside the parliament, they also set up this uh, stage. Mm -hmm. um, often enough, it's called Wei Ti Pa Kwam Jing, which is something mean, um, dissect the truth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, of course, they would say something that involves criticizing the government. But uh, apparently on Saturday, September 7, there is something Mr. Apisit said that make, that make quite a stir and make some people not too happy, especially Women and Men Progressive Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, Apisit was talking about how the Prime Minister is actually avoiding the problems and uh, how she has been in the country for about only a week and what she have been doing. So then in the past week, the Prime Minister was at the um, project, at the competition. Actually, it's more like a, 
I, I can't say it's a pageant, but it's called a smart lady competition. But Abhisit was making some kind of sarcastic remark that why um, they have to have this project, why they have to look for a smart woman. Um, because if they have a competition looking for a stupid woman, nobody would be able to compete. So saying oh. that, saying that it's implying, yes, right. implying something not too nice. So this create a big widespread talk in the social media, uh, also, and also in the same day, the director of women. Women and Men Progressive Foundation has already come out and said that the way Apisit talk about this particular competition and the Prime Minister is actually very insulting to women mm -hmm. and um, it show his mentality and it make Apisit image not nice and not honor women. Mm -hmm. And uh, the way he talked about Ying Lak Shinawat, that um, they, they're not just a visit. The foundation said that the way this opposition party like to talk about Ying Lak Shinawat, they like to criticize her as the person that doesn't have much capability and um, all often play mm -hmm. on how she is as a woman okay. so that's why they said that this is not really nice to say and mm -hmm. they also defend the project it didn't say in the news whether this foundation is the one organized this project but it sound like it because they defend this project that says smart lady project is actually the project that helped develop the capability of women and encourage women to um, show or to perform better in their um, specialties. Mm, right. So this is actually um, supposed to be a good project to encourage, you know, Taiwan yeah. to... And they it, it, it just, just said, bad and they just said the way Apisit uh, criticized Ying Lak Chinawat about this, playing on, um, not playing on whether she's smart or not. And uh, the foundation also extend to how how they're playing on how she look. It's not professional it and not. it's make um, this party not trustworthy if mm. this party will criticize any other subject oh. involve the government work. All right, so too bad. A uh, uh, Democrat has been quite interesting in terms of their tactic they have lately. Been kind of mm -hmm. swaying, playing something strange lately. Right. In the political rings. All right. Um, let's take a short break because mm -hmm. we have more political updates for you. So please stay tuned.